Let's find the derivative of this function. This function y is a product of two functions, x raised to power 3 and sine x. Now this implies y is equal to x raised to power 3 times sine x. We can simplify this by saying let u be equal to x raised to power 3 and let v be equal to sine x. That is, let u be equal to x raised to power 3 and v be equal to sine x. If u is equal to x raised to power 3 and v is equal to sine x, it implies y will be equal to u v. We are asked to find the derivative of y. And y is a product of two functions. To find the derivative of a product of two functions, we are going to be applying the product rule. That is, dy dx is equal to, we we'll put down the first product, which is u, we we'll differentiate the second, dv dx plus, we we'll put down the second, which is v, we we'll differentiate the first, du dx. Now this implies we are going to find the derivative of u equal to x to power 3 and the derivative of v equal to sine x. Let's start by finding this derivative. If u is equal to x raised to power 3, du dx will be equal to 3x raised to power 2. Also, if v, if v is equal to sine x, dv dx will be equal to cos x. Now, we are going to be imputing these two values in this equation. Now, this implies dy dx will be equal to u. Our u is x raised to power 3. x raised to power 3 dv dx. dv dx is cos x. Cos x plus v. Our v is sine x. Sine x du dx. du dx is 3 raised to 3x raised to power 2. 3x raised to power 2. Now we can rearrange this to be x raised to power 3 cos x. Let's bring this one first. Plus 3x squared sine x. Now looking at this, x raised to power 2 is common. Let's factor it out. If we factor x raised to power 2 out, this will be x raised to power 2. x raised to power 2 into this is x cos x plus x raised to power 2 into this is 3 sine x. Now, the derivative of this function is this. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly subscribe for more videos on calculus. See you in my next video.